seven. Right there. Can I just park here? Shit. Yeah. Trying to locate these graves. So. Got Jacob with me. <laughs> hey. Second, oh. Found him. It took us we've probably been here for what, like at least an hour and a half looking for him. Probably. Uh, there's three of them right here. It's a family of uh, famous Western sharpshooters. They did. They traveled around, kind of like uh, Annie Oakley and all them. But they were in the, the 30s and 40s. They were real famous. Uh, Adolf Topperwine, Elizabeth Topperwine, and their son Lawrence Topperwine. And this is a very nice poem on it. Uh, I'm not going to take too much time up uh, talking about what they did and all that. You can go to Wikipedia and read about them. They're really fascinating people. Uh, I just wanted to visit here. Visit them. There's a couple other graves we're looking for. Uh, you got to look it up, figure out what sections they're in. Alright, this time it took, didn't take us nearly as long. We just parked, got out, walked over, we're looking around, and we found it already. Uh, this is one of the greatest pitchers to ever live. Uh, he's been dead for over a hundred years though. His name is George Rube Waddell. And this is another guy whose uh, autograph I've been trying to buy online. George Edward Waddell, 1876 to 1914. Uh, that's his sister, if I'm correct. And another John Waddell, 1914. That might be his father, I'm not sure. 1838, yeah, that's his father and his sister. He wasn't actually from here, but his sister moved down here. And then when he got sick towards the end of his career, he moved here to be with his sister. Really, really eccentric guy. If you get a chance to read up on him, you should. It's a little bit crazy. He was known to, uh, I guess it's appropriate that he's buried right over here by the river. A lot of my fishing videos, even the one where I found all the dead fish floating around, it was right on the other side over there. It's appropriate that he's buried right here because he was known to leave in the middle of a game to go fishing. Like he, he just quit in the middle of an inning, he was pitching, stopped and walked over to the creek or the lake or whatever and started fishing. <laughs> so that's a cool one. Alright, for the third one, Jacob found the last two. <laughs> I finally found one. Got this one right here. It's probably the, probably the biggest name out here that we're looking for. Uh, Ross Youngs. Uh, manager John McGraw, one of the greatest managers of all time, said he's the greatest outfielder he's ever seen. He taught Mel Ott, the other Hall of Famer, how to play. Mel Ott's one of the first people to hit 500 home runs. Uh, he was born around here in Bernie. He's buried here. He's one of the players uh, on the list of players who died during their career. He only played for 10 years and still made it to the Hall of Fame. And uh, this is another one I'm looking for, trying to buy an autograph from. Uh, this is a hometown boy though. He's from around here, not like the other ones. So this is a pretty good one. 